Adam Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the early life of Daniel Morgan. Daniel Morgan, one of America's best commanders during the American Revolution, was born in New Jersey in 1736. His parents had emigrated from Wales in 1720, and his father was an ironmonger. Schooling was not a priority in the Morgan household, and Daniel was just taught the basics of reading, writing, and arithmetic. At 17, after a fight with his father, young Daniel left home, settling in western Virginia. He never saw his folks again. Daniel became a wagoneer, and by age 20, Morgan was six feet two and a tower of strength. He had a cheerful nature and a natural intelligence. During the French and Indian War, Morgan participated in several engagements, including Braddock's ill-fated expedition to Fort Duquesne. In another fight, Morgan was ambushed by a party of Indians and shot through the back of his neck, the bullet just missing his neck bone and exiting through his left cheek, taking out all his teeth on that side. Somehow, Morgan stayed mounted on his horse and eventually made it to safety. Interestingly, despite all his future battles, this wound was the only one Morgan ever received. Following the war, Morgan continued his work as a wagoneer and became known as the toughest man in the county, thrashing all comers. That all changed in 1772 when his rowdy spirit was tamed by Miss Abigail Curry, an attractive, feisty gal from nearby Berkeley County, and they married the following year. The happy couple settled down to a peaceful domestic life in the beautiful foothills of Western Virginia. But then Lexington and Concord happened and all that changed. Next week, we will discuss Daniel Morgan joining the patriotic cause. Until next time, your love of country leads you. Thank you.